spectral satellites in space. EO-1, NASA. In 2000, NASA launched the EO-1 satellite which carried the hyperspectral sensor, Hyperion. Hyperion produced 30-meter resolution images in 242 spectral bands. Hyperion really kicked off the start of hyperspectral imaging from space. If you want to test out Hyperion imagery for yourself, the data is available for free on the USGS Earth Explorer. Spectra ranges 0.4 um to 2.5 um. Proba 1, ESA. Project for Onboard Autonomy, Proba 1, was launched by ESA in 2001. It carried CRIS, Compact High Resolution Imaging Spectrometer, for medium resolution hyperspectral imaging. Its hyperspectral mode produced 63 bands at 34 mgsd. But it could also be reconfigured to 150 bands at a pixel resolution. Spectra ranges 0.41 um to 1.1 um. Prisma, Italy. Prisma was launched in 2019 as a medium resolution hyperspectral satellite. It's the first of its kind for Italy and will assist in crop classification, resource management, and environmental monitoring. Prisma, Piricursor Hyperspectrale della Missione Applicativa, produces 250 bands with 30 mgsd. Spectra ranges 0.4 um to 2.5 um. Nmap, Germany. Germany plans to launch environmental mapping and analysis program, Nmap, in 2020. This hyperspectral satellite will consist of 228 bands with 30 mgsd. Spectra ranges 0.42 um to 2.5 um. Hijui, Japan. The hyperspectral and multispectral imager, Hijui, will be on board ALOS 3. This Japanese hyperspectral sensor will have 185 bands with 30 mgsd. It's planning to be launched in 2020. Spectra ranges 0.39 um to 2.6 um. HYSPIRI, United States. The estimated launch for hyperspectral infrared imager, HYSPIRI, is 2024. It will be equipped with the VSWIR imaging spectrometer with 60 mgsd. Spectra ranges 0.39 um to 2.6 um. Hyperspectral imaging from space is a bit of a rare commodity. The main reasons are its level of complexity and large data size. For example, a Hyperion image contains 242 individual TIFF files. Each one shows a tiny spectrum of light. If you combine all 242 images, the data size is 188 megabytes, zipped. But the swath is absolutely tiny at 680 square kilometers, 262 me2. Then if you compare this to a typical Sentinel-2 scene which is 12,000 square kilometers, 4,660 me2. But over the years, technology and storage have advanced rapidly. Could hyperspectral imaging be a trend for the future? The answer is yes.